hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is hannah today i'm gonna be doing a twisted bantu knot on my short hair or medium short hair i don't know what to call it so i haven't done this in like five years and even when i did it then it was always a fail so i'm really hoping it comes out nice before we get into this video do not forget to subscribe and join the family also hit the like button if you enjoy watching this video it helps with the youtube algorithm and it also helps me to know if i should continue creating content like this plus it's free you know <laughs> as you can see my hair is detangled i'm gonna start from the back i usually prefer to start like this and walk my way towards the front it's just easier for me i'm taking this little portion and using the Cantu argan oil leave-in conditioner with the Cantu shea butter strengthening styling gel with and i'm going to be using my little shea butter mixture in this mixture i have shea butter i have coconut oil and this grape seed glossing serum it's an oil i got from body shop it's really nice for my high porosity hair it helps with sealing in the moisture in and i'm loving it <laughs> now what i'm doing is twisting the two strands around each other just like you're doing your normal twist your protective style twist or your mini twist just tying them around towards the root of my hair for me i don't want to make it so tight because i'm taking it down the next day anyway so i don't see the point of of making it so tight plus my roots are very sensitive so i just prefer it this way there is actually no flake as of yesterday when i was making the video if you notice there were some white stuffs showing making it look like i actually put a lot of product but guys no flakes at all no white residue i'm actually surprised because i expected it to be a lot of white residues just waiting for me there but it's looking good and it still feels very moisturized i think i will keep up with this shea butter mixture my hair is high porosity and usually even overnight it dries out so i've already thought about it that maybe i'm not moisturizing my hair the right way and i was probably right the leave-in was probably okay but the oil i was using was coconut oil but i don't think it was thick enough so i think i needed to have mixed other stuff in it like in this mixture right here i mixed in coconut oil some grape something something oil i'm going to find the real name and put it somewhere on the screen the picture of it or the name of it and um olive oil and guys my hair feels so moisturized and it just feels good it feels good to feel my hair like this really and i never thought this was gonna work i don't know 
know if you guys can notice it but i can my hair is actually damaged so i'm on the pace to repairing it right now i've been using the protein treatment and deep conditioning it every week also but i've been seeing differences for sure so guys what i'm doing now is untying the bantu knot and i will untwist and separate each strand to make it more full and less scanty this is what it's looking at. like i'm trying to figure out how to style it and i think i want to separate it a bit more i'll separate it a bit more later i'll come back to show you guys So I styled my hair this way but I wasn't really feeling it then I decided to just go with a pro look here is the final look this actually came out better than I thought let me know in the comment section if you will be trying this hairstyle and what are your struggles with Bantu knot uh, what are the struggles you've had with Bantu knot and I will see you all in my next one kisses